any Guns N' Roses connections? Perhaps maybe if you've seen any, have you seen them in concert? Are you friends with any of the guys? I'm just curious if there are any six degrees of, of GNR begging with you or POD. Well, I mean, the rock community is small. <clears throat> um, we, we did Weenie Roast uh, back in the satellite days. Um, we were one of the, the main acts in L.A. for K-Rock. And I remember we were jamming, and I look over to the right, and I'm stage right, and I see the gold top hat, and my text all, hey, dude, Slash is checking you guys out. And I turned over, and I was like, oh, my goodness, right? That's awesome, right? So that's one of the connections. The other one is I end up at a party many years later, and Slash is there. And I think I said the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> because I, I, I knew, because he had told me, you know, I love your guys' stuff. You know, you guys are awesome. I love what you guys do. And this was back then. So I saw him a few, later, you know, a few years later at, a, I want to say, a virgin party in L.A. And I go, hey, man, what's up? I, you know, P.O.D. He goes, hey, bro. And he goes, I was so enamored with the moment that he's all... I love your guys' stuff. He said it again. And I go, I know, bro. And then I, I turned around and he, someone took him, someone like distracted him, started talking to him. And I go, oh man, I hope that didn't come off wrong. Like, I know. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't meaning it like that. And it's one of those moments where he probably doesn't care, doesn't remember. But I was like, I hope he didn't take it. Like I was like being like an a-hole, <laughs> ignorant. Like, I know, bro. I know you do. You know what I mean? So yeah, I do. That's it's really funny. Stupid, it's, it's, a, it's a stupid little quirky thing, but... Hopefully that, that kind of answers that question. <laughs>